Hi kids, welcome back. For today, we are going to discuss what are the effects of heat and electricity on people and objects. For this week's most essential learning competency, discuss why some materials are good conductors of heat and electricity. For today's objective, explain the effects of heat and electricity on people and objects. Let's ignite your curiosity, discover something new, unleash your inner scientist with Science 5! I am your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. What does the first picture show to us? How about the second picture? Have you ever experienced one of the two scenarios presented? What did you do? How can we prevent these things happen to us? For today's guide questions, Number 1. What are the effects of heat to people and objects? Number 2. What are the effects of electricity to people and objects? And number three, how can we prevent the accidents related to heat and electricity to happen? From our previous lesson, we know that heat is a form of energy that is transferred between bodies or objects with different temperature. But what are the possible effects of heat to us and to the object that in contact with it? Let's find out. I divided the effects of heat into two, the good effects and the bad effects. Let's discuss first the good effects. Number one, it makes our surroundings warm. Bonfires and heat warmers makes the cold surroundings warm during winter season. Number two, we were able to cook food. Cooked foods helps us to digest the food properly. Number three, it keeps us warm during cold season. Heat helps us to avoid sudden drop in our body temperature during cold weather. Number four, it can change the state of matter. Example of this is when ice turns into water. And number five, we were able to process food and manufacture materials such as glassware, ceramic, metallic ornaments, and many more. For the bad effects, number one, too much heat can cause heat stroke and other medical illnesses. Intense heat can give us humans heat exhaustion that can lead to heat stroke during warm weather. Doctors suggest us to wear light colored clothes, stay hydrated, and avoid the sun during 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Number 2. Accidentally touching hot pots and pans can cause burn. Use pot holders when dealing with hot cooking wares. Number three, too much heat can cause fire or combustion when in contact to combustible materials. Dried leaves, paper, and cloth are some combustible materials. Having a direct contact of these materials with heat can cause fire. And number four, fast spoilage of food. Leftover food during warm season can cause spoilage of food. Leftover food should be kept in a tight container and put it inside the refrigerator once it cooled down. From our previous lesson as well, we know that electricity is the flow of electrical power or charge. But what are the possible effects of electricity to us and to the object that in touch with it? Let's find out first the good effects. Number one, it makes our electrical appliances to work. Electrical appliances such as TV, radio, and computer sets that we usually have at home will only work if there is an electricity flows into the electrical sockets. Number two, it gives light and continuous productions of manufacturers even at night. Call center companies and other companies that operate at night can do their tasks because of electricity. And number three, it makes our life comfortable. 
On the other hand, here are some bad effects of electricity. Number one, electricity can cause electrocution, which is dangerous to us humans. Number two, it can cause fire. Number three, too much use of electricity can make your electric bill go up as well. Number four, producing it contributes to global warming. And number five, broken electrical cables during flood can cause electrocution if not addressed immediately. Here are some ways to prevent accidents related to heat and electricity. Number one, if you are working with hot object, use an insulator such as cloth to avoid skin burn. Number two, seek medical help if you experience heat exhaustion during hot weather. Number three, Avoid overloading in electrical outlets. Number four, unplug appliances when not in use. And number five, report broken electrical cables. Did you learn something new in our today's lesson? Good job! I'm so happy to hear that. See you again in our next lesson. This is your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. See you again in our next lesson. Bye!